Dangerous eruption of the Krakatoa, or should we say Anak Krakatoa, the baby Krakatoa, has started. This Krakatoa volcano is the most fascinating volcano probably in the history of the volcanism. And people know it because it caused a lot of, you know, uh, controversy when it actually erupted in 19th century. It caused cooling effect deeply felt around the world. It caused the uh, red sunsets around the world. And uh, because of the many documentaries built about this, it, it became really part of the folklore of the volcanology. It has now erupted. It's an eruption. This is located in Indonesia, of course, as we know. And uh, in the Indonesian islands are part of the uh, subduction zone of the um, Indo-Australian plate under the Eurasian plate creating these volcanoes this one is dangerous because this is in the middle of the you know a, a, a sea between the Java and the rest of the islands uh, of the archipelago of the Indonesia and the water coming in contact with the lava and magma can create a steam an explosion that is the reason it is so explosive and dangerous it was destroyed several times in the past this time it's created a a little baby Krakatoa or in the middle of the what is remained of the blown up whole island in the past 19th century a tiny one baby or anak Krakatoa is created this is regularly erupting now and this recent one is dangerous because it has continued it has not uh, stopped since the two three days ago so it's not just one eruption, it's continuing. If we continue to build up, you know, the, through this process of eruptions and uh, create the island bigger and make it bigger until it fill up the gap probably between the what is remained of the past big eruption. As you can see, his face is changing, the island face is changing gradually by these eruptions and adding to the land mass of this volcano it can potentially join with the, what is remained of the old volcano. In the past, it had a crater like that. Now that one blown up. The, uh, the potential for danger from this uh, volcano is because of the tsunamis it can create also in the adjacent areas in the Southeast Asia. And uh, a lot of people live in there, about half a million people, half a billion people, I should say half a billion people, part of the ring of uh, fire, Indo-Pacific ring of fire, which is the most dangerous or probably biggest structure on the planet Earth that we know at the surface visible.